Now, with the bell work we talked about, we had you conjugate sand and a star. Okay, and that's what we're going to be talking about today is the differences between sand and a star and when they're going to be used. Now, really the only way they're actually similar is in their translation. What do they both mean? If we translate them to English, they both mean to be. Okay, that's really one of the only similarities they have is in that translation because in Spanish, they are two different words. And we know that because you can't really use them interchangeably. And if we use replace one with the other, it actually will change meaning of what we're trying to say. So the first thing we're going to do is remind ourselves of the conjugations. And then we're going to talk about how they're going to be used properly. Okay? And we remember sand is an irregular verb. And its conjugations, like we had up before, is yo what? Yo soy tu. Eres. El e usted. Es, nosotros, somos. somos, and ellos es ustedes, son. Again, that should be top of your head. You should be able to get that conjugated. Estar, okay, what's the yo for? Yo, estoy, tú, estás, el, el, usted, está, nosotros, estamos, and ellos es ustedes, Done. All right. Very different. Now, there's a word, there's two general words to use to kind of indicate when ser is used and when a star is used. I always like to mention that the verb ser is usually used with things that are more what do you think? permanent. Okay? What you look like, your personality, you know, how someone is. That's more of a permanent thing. Whereas a star, on the other hand, would be used for things that are more the opposite of permanent, temporary, emotions, how you're feeling at the time, even locations, where I'm at here versus there. Now, if you go over the different, uh, the specific uses of it, there is an acronym that I found online, so this wasn't mine. Does anybody know what it was? I used it last year, be happy. Okay. Oh. For SER is the acronym who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I added the D in there because of kind of, but it's really poop. All right, now that seems. <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone else came up with this, believe it or not. All right, the first P, or one of the P's is what? What does Sarah describe? Personality. Okay. Es simpatico. He is nice. Okay, personality. One of the O's represents what? Origin, origin or nationality. Where someone's from. El es de Mexico. Another O is occupation, what someone does. Ellos son policías, they're police officers. The other P is what? It has an F set. Physical physical characteristics, what someone looks like. Okay. Tu eres alto. Right? Then the D right here is date and time. Oh that's a D. Yeah. Sorry. English letters aren't very good. Alright, date and time. And again, that D there, not as important as far as how we're using it because we're focusing more on it in describing someone what they're like, where they're from, what they do, what they look like. Now, is, so that's our, that's our point. Okay. And for STAR, what was the acronym I had? L. Okay, with a C, not a K. What is the E? Emotion or feeling? Okay. What's the L? Location. Location. <coughs> and the C is condition. Okay, what is condition? 